Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, May 14th, the coming of the Comforter. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another Comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. John 14, verses 16 and 17 Christ was about to depart to his home in the heavenly courts, but he assured his disciples that he would send them the Comforter who would abide with them forever. To the guidance of this Comforter, all may implicitly trust. He is the Spirit of Truth, but this truth the world can neither see nor receive. Christ desired his disciples to understand that he would not leave them orphans. I will not leave you comfortless, he declared, I will come to you. John 14 verses 18 and 19 precious, glorious assurance of eternal life. Even though he was to be absent, their relation to him was to be that of a child to his parent. The words spoken to the disciples come to us through their words. The Comforter is ours as well as theirs at all times and in all places, in all sorrows and in all affliction, when the outlook seems dark and the future perplexing and we'll feel helpless and alone. These are times when the Comforter will be sent in answer to the prayer of faith. There is no Comforter like Christ, so tender and so true. He is taught with the feeling of our infirmities. His Spirit speaks to the heart. Circumstances may separate us from our friends, the broad, restless ocean may roll between us and them. Though their sincere friendship may still exist, they may be unable to demonstrate it by doing for us that which would be gratefully received. But no circumstances, no distance, can separate us from the heavenly comforter. Wherever we are, Wherever we go, he is always there, one given in Christ's place to act in his stead. He is always at our right hand to speak soothing, gentle words to support, sustain, uphold, and cheer. The influence of the Holy Spirit is the life of Christ in the soul. The Spirit works in and through everyone who receives Christ. Those who know the indwelling of this Spirit reveal its fruit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Our Father cares, May 14th.